Sup, bitches. <laughs> so they made him walk eternity with oversized prop locks you, and Ask me who I was. All oh, right. Who, who were you then? In life, I was your partner. Your partner, Jacob Marley. Can you sit down? I can. Well, do really? It. Okay, so spirits are affected by gravity, have to walk upstairs, but can go through doors, and then can sit down on chairs? <laughs> so they reflect light, you don't but not in me. all of it? I don't. Why do you doubt your senses? Well, because conceptually, I'm having trouble with your purported me. ontological existence. An upset stomach, and, but I'm quite out of order. You could be a crumb of moldy cheese, an underdone a turnip. Pie. Moldy cheese, an underdone turnip. Oh, no, some British beef. That could be mighty upsetting to the stomach. There's more gravy than grave about you, Jacob. Oh. Wow, thing. Bit of an overreaction. Oh, maybe not the best idea to untie that. What is it? Speak up, man. <laughs> yeah, here, before I vomit, I'm gonna help you with that. Thanks. Why? We're saying spirits. spirits can get jaw injuries that require a bandages. And why do they come to me? It is required of every man that the spirit within him should walk abroad among his fellow men and travel far and wide. And can if I take like a go kart or something? In life, it is condemned to do so after death. It is doomed to wander through the world. Oh, woe is me! And witness what it cannot share, but might have shared on earth, and turn to happiness. You know, like a bag of peanuts. Tell me why. I wear the chain I forged in life. I made it link by link and yard by yard. It is a ponderous chain. Do you know the weight and length of the strong coil you bear? It oh, is as wow. heavy and as long as this, seven Christmas oh, Eve ago, you have labored on it since. He's labored on his strong coil? Jacob. He got very filthy Jacob all of a sudden. Jacob Marley, speak comfort to me, Jacob. I have none to give. I Just cannot rest. Acting. I cannot stay. I cannot linger anywhere. Oh, never to be able to make amends for Mr. Never to be able to have a root beer float. For the torture of remorse. Jacob, I, I, I don't understand why you're suffering all your life. You were a good businessman. That's why I'm suffering. The suffering I caused. So business acumen pain. equals bad. Okay? Jacob, it was business. Business? Mankind was my business. The common good was my business. Yeah, all right. At this time of the rolling year, I suffer most. Why I can appear to you tonight in a shape that you can see, I do not know. But I have sat invisible beside you many and many a day, trying to reach really? you. Really? It's kind of weird. My time on Earth is nearly gone. I am here to warn you that you have a chance of escaping my... Terrible fate. A chance I got for you. You are always a good friend to me, Jacob. You will be haunted by three spirits. Is this the chance you spoke of? It is. In that case, I'd rather not. Without their visits, you have no hope of escaping your fate. Expect the first tomorrow when the bell tolls one. Couldn't I take them all at once and have it over and done with? Expect the second spirit on the next night at the same time, and the third the night following at twelve. Look to see me no more. And for your own sake, 
remember what has passed between us. What, flatulence? And anyway, stop spying on me all the time. Look what you did, look. all going off out here? Mozart? These spirits try to interfere for good in human affairs. Well, they try to awkwardly grab a woman and a child. Forever. That is the curse we bear. Yeah, but you guys get to fly. I gotta point out, that's a major perk. didn't close the window itself, man. Quarter past. You get a sore neck sleeping that way. Half past. Quarter to it. The hour itself. Nothing's happened. It's been like four seconds. Uh, can you turn down the supernova? Are you... You? The spirit whose coming was foretold? <laughs> Excuse me? I am. Who? What are you? I am the ghost of Christmas past. Long past. Can't you tell? No. Your past. Spirit, put on your cap. Be covered. What? Would you so soon put out the light I give? All right, not look, enough don't fly off the handle. I just can't see your face, cap, okay? And forced me to wear it low upon my brow. Wow, chip no on your shoulder much? You, sir. Thank you. What business brings you here? Your welfare. Oh, well, I'm much obliged to you. But a peaceful night of unbroken rest would have been more conducive to that end. Fair enough point. then. Come with me. Some other time, perhaps. I, I, I'm not dressed. I have a weak chest. A monstrous head cold. Rise. And walk with me. the hand holding necessary for the walking I mean Patrick Stewart is a reasonably functional adult. no I'm mortal I'm liable to fall all I have to do is touch you there oh well it's an interesting redecoration job you know the floors are a bit messier but uh I know this place. I was a boy here. You and I was an aardvark here. Remember it. I could walk it blindfold. Did. I know these boys. We went to the same school. They're Jenkins. And, uh, and Tony Vick. Hey, Tony Vick. And, and um... Benjamin Fish! Toby Bell. Oh, Toby. Toby! Toby, my sweet love. They're only shadows of things that have been. Only they shadows of my sweet love. They're going home for the Christmas holidays. 